I'm Chito Ferradans and this is Anamorphic Chop Shop. Today I'll go over modding the Century Optics adapter from bayonet mount to 52mm threads. Uh, first off, you'll need the adapter. You'll need a 52 to 67 step ring. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. The numbers 00, 0 or 1 uh, will work, any of those. And if your Sentry has a cannon bayonet, you'll need cutting pliers. The version I have here is the Sony bayonet. It is for the PD-150 or the VX-2000 and it is very easy to mod. First, remove the screw on the side, this one here, careful not to lose it. Just take it off. And then unscrew the lock off. Just rotate till it pops off. Boom. Now, uh, the Canon bayonet for the GL1 and GL2 has a stopper inside here, and the Sony doesn't. So you need to use the pliers to cut a dent in the step ring so it fits in here. And otherwise it won't be possible to reassemble the lens. Luckily for us, the Sony version just needs the, uh, you to sandwich the step ring between the main body of the lens and the lock, like this. So here's the step ring. Now I screw this back on top. Uh, the 52 thread will fit snugly around the rear element. And now, well, I just screwed the lock on and just bring this little guy here back to its place. So neither this moves or the inner part moves, otherwise it'll mess with your alignment. And as explained on the Century review, you can use an 82 to 72 or 77 to 72 step down ring with electrical tape around here to create uh, front threads and voila! You now have a production ready adapter. Thanks for Matt Leaf for lending me the lens for this video. Subscribe for more anamorphic content and visit my blog for the full anamorphic on a budget guide.